What is up everyone? Welcome back to the Factory SBR YouTube channel. Today is the day as you see behind me. We have the dwarf car and a pit all set up here at Mountain Valley Speedway up in Hay Fork. Now I am not racing the dwarf car today and I actually had planned to race it in Wairika, but uh, I got an opportunity to come up here and race a hobby stock. So with that said, instead of racing the dwarf car for the first time, just driving laps there at a race, I'm gonna be able to hot lap it here today. So uh, I don't know what it's gonna feel like. I'm excited, it's gonna be cool. But we also have the enduro car behind me, so I'll be racing that. And I have the hobby stock that I'm driving, but that is Treston's car, which is over there. And I'll go show you guys that here in a minute. But uh, I don't know, I'm super excited to turn laps in this thing. But with that said, let's go check out the other car and uh, it looks pretty cool. So here is the inside of the car. To be. So here is the hobby stock right behind me. It is the 2B. It is the freshly painted white one and I'm super stoked to be able to turn laps in this thing. But uh, I think we just got the call. We're gonna get ready to go out for hot laps right now. I wasn't gonna go show you guys the track, but you've seen it before in my other videos. So let's get in this thing, go turn some hot laps. Hopefully I get some videos from the spotter stand here and uh, then we'll go look at the track and then probably pull the dwarf car out after. strapping in right now to go out for hot laps first time sitting in this car feels like I'm up high which is kind of different from uh, sitting in the dwarf car where you're down low kind of in a cave but uh, it feels pretty cool tracks a little slimy but uh, we'll just go turn some laps to be pretty easy on it for first first time out First laps are done in that thing and let me tell you what for the first time driving something with suspension like that it is weird uh, definitely probably wasn't driving it hard enough but for the first time out I want to feel it out it's weird one and two is like kind of gripped up and the back stretch gets really slick into three and then out of four it's like greasy still so uh, the track still got to come to us a little bit there I got to drive it a little bit harder I know I was just going in uh, diamond it off the bottom a little bit too like off the gas not on the gas enough but uh that was fun first time out now i think we're gonna get ready for a driver's meeting then go to heat race and uh we'll see if we haul out the door car in between then all right so we're waiting and staging here it's hot and clipped in but we're gonna run eight laps i'm starting second row inside so we're starting third and whoever wins this is also the trophy dash too so uh you know hopefully we could pull something out of the bag here and win the trophy dash but the car owner is actually starting in front of me and he's pretty fast so hopefully I can get behind him learn some tricks and uh, move forward
All right, so we just got done with the heat race. I don't know. I mean, that was dusty. I First off, I didn't mean to hit Treston, but that track is so dusty, you cannot see anything. So we got a restart, and I started front row outside, and I got a fantastic jump. The guy next to me, the leader, missed a gear, so I took the lead, and then the flag man threw the yellow for the green. So we had to rerun it, so we came back, and then I just got up in the marbles there, I think, on one and two on the, the second restart. And then once I was, you know, get going my gears uh trusted some my gear ratio is a little bit lower than everyone else's so uh they're just pulling me pretty hard so we'll see how the main event is if they can take care of this dust maybe we'll be able to do something but uh, it's kind of one lane around the bottom and if you're a leader you can see so i think right now we're going to go ahead and try to get in the dwarf car and turn some laps for the first time the track's all right they just reworked it so i hope it's not slimy but if it's too slimy i see they're pouring water on it i'll just pull off but uh let's go give it a rip going. <laughs> I wanted to just quickly mention before the next clips that you see here they are only two clips of me in the main event running the hobby stock and I just wanted to say uh, my parents are kind of new to helping me film and everything so my quality of filming is I know exactly what I want to film but my camera had died and so the clip of the dwarf car as well was on my mom's phone so the quality wasn't the best there but they're getting better they're just recording kind of everything and they don't really know the exact shots to get so they kind of run the battery down pretty quick when they record but my parents are doing great and they're trying their hardest but they are still learning so I'm sorry for the lack of clips in the main event we didn't get too many laps anyways because like I had said in the clip after we did overheat but I thought I would just tell you guys uh, sometimes the quality isn't just the best yet they had some of the settings messed up so the video so part of the video might be a little bit quiet but anyways I just want to explain that my parents are getting better I'm teaching them little by little how to record and then also the whole dwarf car thing was kind of a disaster uh, the battery on my camera had died so we couldn't use my camera and then if my dad just forgot to turn on the GoPro I don't even think I told him because we were rushing but other than that uh, I will work on teaching them how to record a little bit better and get some good shots, but they're trying, so thank you guys for sticking with me and understanding. But anyways, let's go right into the main event here and watch the two clips. And this track was dustier than heck and I could not see, and uh, it was all the way around the bottom. decided to pull her in it was at like 250 and uh, I didn't want to overheat it it wasn't worth it anyways I just had no speed compared to those guys and I was wide open on the bottom practically you know I even tried changing it up coming in straight slow down and then come off straight but uh the gearing's just off on this thing and that thing was getting pretty hot so uh better just to save the car it's not mine but a big thank you to Treston for allowing me to come out here and run it that thing's awesome it's way different feeling like that in a car than you know, hot lap in the dwarf there, which I'll explain later, which we didn't get on camera, but barely. But uh, no, those guys are good. And I just got rooted off the bottom once there and I just decided, you know, I'm just a roadblock. So uh, may as well pull it in. But other than that, fun driving experience. Got a little bit of a break. I'm gonna watch some fireworks. And then up next, we're gonna go ahead and race the uh, Enduro Mayhem main event. So hopefully we can bring home one win tonight. All right, we're all strapped in here. Camera battery died. It's enduro main event time. Let's see if she starts. She's 
starts, it's time to go. We only got to make about half a lap there. Uh, the car fired up earlier today and then we fired it by the trailer and then it wouldn't fire. So I think it was something with electrical. Uh, we tried to snake them there on the start, but car just didn't run. So I don't really know what to say other than I think I could have won that race. We definitely were playing games on the start. There was a hole, I took it. We got out to a nice little area where I thought I had enough space around everyone, but uh, car ended up not running. I think that's gonna conclude our night here the cool part is we did get to run a hobby stock for the first time. So once again, a big thank you to Tresson. Thank you for Josh for allowing me to try to run that car. Uh, and also a big thanks to my dad for helping me out and my mom for supporting me. We did get to run the dwarf car for the first time today. The track was just, you know, too big for our gearing in that car. And it was more of a shakedown. It wasn't like a full get up on it. So we did get on it a little bit, but uh, it did feel pretty good as well. So. So it does suck that the cameras were not rolling. My camera had died and then they were telling us we gotta go. So I forgot to turn the GoPro on. So the only clips you get to see are of me running that with my dad's camera or on his Android. So uh, sorry for the quality there. But other than that, that's gonna wrap up our night here at Hay Fork Speedway. You know, we came up here wanting to win, but we're coming home empty handed. Sometimes that's just how it is in the racing industry. So thank you guys for watching. And as I always say, my name's Benny Gooch and just because it's Shipbox, we'll see you guys all on Monday with Speed Week, 360 Speed Week with Tanner. See y'all there.